This is Anna Marie, one of your Westerville librarians, so excited to bring you a flannel activity, perfect for preschoolers. Now, I need your help to complete this activity. I need to make a pig, but I have a lot of animal body parts and I don't know for sure which ones belong to my pig. Can you help? I hope so. Now, to get us started, I did find a pink body and a pink head. Now, I think we need to figure out what goes on our pig's face. What body parts might be on our pig's face? Hmm. What might our pig use to see with? They might use eyes just like we do. Now I do, I have two eyes and I think I'm gonna plop them right on our head here. We have got two pig eyes. Is that where our eyes go? No. Hmm. Do our pig's eyes go on the top part of their face? or the bottom part of their face? Top or bottom? On the top and hmm, do they go next to each other? Are they friends? I think they might be. Let's try that out. Let's try putting our eyes next to each other in a line near the top part of our face. All right. I think that looks, that looks pig-like. Now, I think there's another body part on the front of our pig. It combines their nose and their mouth. Hmm, you know what? I have a nose and mouth combo. This is a fantastic nose and mouth, and I think it's going to be perfect for our pig Is that a pig's nose? No. Whose nose is that? What animal does that nose belong to? An elephant? Oh boy. Well, I don't think our elephant is the same thing as a pig. So we are going to have to find a different nose. Is a pig's nose bigger or smaller than an elephant's nose? I think it might be smaller too. Let me see. Oh, I do have a smaller nose and this is a nose I see all around the barnyard. I have got the perfect farm animal nose. Is that a pig's nose? No. Well, what animal has a nose like that? Oh, there sounds like there's a lot of animals that have a nose like that. Birds, ducks, chickens, but not pigs? Apparently not. Now, we did say our pig's nose is smaller than our elephant's nose. Is it a different color? What color should a pig's nose be? Oh, let's see. We're gonna move over our bird beak and I'm gonna see if, oh, I do. I have a pink nose. Does this look like a pig's snout? It's nose and mouth all together. It does. Well, that's exciting. All right. I think we need to take a break from the pig's face. Let's let's move to the opposite side of the body. Does our pig have something that normally comes off of its bottom? It does. It has a tail, of course, and I have a fantastic tail. Perfect for our pig. Now, here is our pig tail. It's quite long and has some fur at the end. Hmm, 
I don't think you think that's the right tail for our pig. Huh. Well, what animal has a tail like that? A lion? Hmm, well, this is definitely not a lion. So we're gonna scoot our tail over. Now, let's think again about size. Is our pig tail bigger or smaller than the lion tail? It's smaller too. Well, I, I have a smaller tail and I've seen this around the barnyard too. It's a fantastic fluffy tail. Is that a pig's tail? No. What animal has a fluffy white tail like that? A bunny? Well, I like bunnies, but we're not making a bunny. We're making a pig. All right, all right. So, what color should our pig's tail be? Pink? All right. Oh, now I do. I have a tiny pink curly tail. Do we think that might be our pig's tail? I hope so. It looks like it blends right in. All right, so we have a nose and mouth. We have a tail. What does our pig need down here? Legs! Our pig needs legs. And you know, I have some great legs that I've seen all around the barnyard. I have one, two fantastic pig legs. Hmm. I'm getting the feeling these are not the right legs for our pig. Huh. Well, what animal has legs like that? A duck? Hmm. Again, this is not a duck. We're going to take those legs. We're going to put them over here by that beak. Maybe I should have started with a question. I shouldn't have gotten so excited. How many legs does a pig have? Four. Well, our duck only had one, two legs. Let me see. Oh, I do have a set of four legs and they even have hooves on the bottom. This feels promising. All right. I have one. I have two. I have three. I have four pig legs. No, those aren't right either. Huh. Well, if, if our pig has four legs and our pig's legs have hooves at the bottom, is it, is it the color that's wrong? What color should the pig's legs be? Pink, of course, I should have known. All right, let's scoot our four legs over to the side and let's see. Oh, you know, I do. I do have a set of pig legs. I have four pink legs here. I have one. I have two. I have three. I have four. One, two, three, four legs. All right. I think it might be time to come back to that head. Is there something we're missing on top of our pig's head? Ears! Our pig needs some ears. And I have listened. I know. Our pig needs some pink ears. So I have some perfect pink ears for our pig. I have one, two fantastic pig ears. Is that it? Are those the right ears? Not quite. Hmm. Well, they are pink. Ooh, maybe the size is wrong. Do our ears need to be bigger or smaller? Smaller? All right, all right, let me move over our big pink ears. And wouldn't you know it, I do. I have one more set of ears and they are a little bit smaller. So now we have eyes, a nose and mouth, a tail, one, two, three, four legs.
eggs 